Hey, Cartez Roth with T-Shirt Riches at www.tshirtriches.com. And today I'm going to address still some questions about the transfers. I'm still getting a ton of questions about them, so I figured I'll make another video. Hopefully this will be the last video about these transfers. Now, um, these transfers are the designs. Let's talk about the designs for a moment. Um, these are different designs that are being transferred from this sheet of paper to a t-shirt via a heat press. And you must have a heat press to make these transfers uh, transfer to a shirt. You can't use an iron because with the heat press, um, the machine heats up to about 375 to 400 degrees, 405 to 410 degrees. And combining with the heat and the pressure that the machine exerts, when you clamp down that machine, it exerts a, a huge amount of pressure. And you need both the pressure and the heat to get the designs transferred over to the shirt. And, you know, so that's why you cannot use an iron. An iron simply will not work. You must have a heat press. Um, I recommend a 16 by 20. Um, and if you can't get a 16 by 20, then get a get get something smaller. A 15 by 15 will work if you're just getting started. Problem is when you start dealing with the designs that are large, and this is not a large one, but sometimes you have transfers that are this size. It's almost like two transfers in one. Uh, but you have transfers where the person has a big design, and a regular 15 by 15 machine is not big enough to put. To, to, to fit onto uh, the, the the flat part of the of the heat press where you lay your shirt on, and you try and put this on a design, it's not going to fit. It's going to go over. So that's why I recommend a 16 by 20 because most designs generally are slight are smaller than a 16 by 20. Now they got some that are 16 by 24, but um, this paper here now this is not the kind of paper you can go to Walmart or any other local printing store and buy and print this from your home computer. It won't work. Now, you know, they do sell transfers where you can print from your computer, but I guarantee you, you will not get the same kind of quality, not even close, not even in the ballpark. Um, again, you pay for what you get for it. And when you start sending customers some crappy um, 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 T-shirts from, from printing ink that you printed from your printer, you know, they're not gonna buy your stuff anymore. You know, in, the, in, in, in business, you, are successful when you're able to get your customers to continue to buy from you over and over again. I don't believe in a one-time sale. It takes too much effort to go get new customers when it's easier for me to sell to the same existing customer base over and over again. So you treat them right, they'll come back, they'll buy from you, and they'll refer their friends. Um, these type of inks from this type of stuff, transfers, do not fade, they do not smear, they do not fudge, they do not come off. and um, you know, so that's that's why you must have the machine. So hopefully I won't get any more questions about can I use an iron for it? You cannot. Um, can I use a 15 by 15 or a smaller? Yes, you can. You know, again, if you're just getting started, just you know, get what you can get. And if you're making your own designs, then of course you have to you, you design your transfers around the size of your machine. Um, for example, uh, this shirt here says you don't know Jack if you don't know Jesus. Now it's backwards of course, because of course when you put it onto a transfer, it had to go on backwards so that when you print it onto a shirt, it comes out the right way. Um, this, just to give you an idea, I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more because we had a lot of questions about that. And excuse me if I'm looking down because I'm looking at a monitor that's below me and um, just to make sure that everything falls within the slide. But um, this particular design was drawn by a graphic artist. Now, luckily, in this business, you don't have to know how to draw. Um, in my book on the t-shirtriches.com website, I show you how to get other people to take the art and the ideas and the design ideas that you have in your head, and they'll create that stuff for you. They'll draft them up for you. They'll send you some proofs. You look at the design through the process, and you know once you find once they create the design that you envisioned, then you sign off on it and then you pay them. Now, a lot of graphic artists will charge you anywhere from 50 to 60 to 85 dollars an hour, and something like this can end up costing you three to 500 dollars 
um, to get drawn up by a graphic artist. They're expensive. However, in the book, I give you uh, a source and I show you how to get other graphic artists, some of the best graphic artists in the world, to um, craft and create your designs for next to nothing. Now, I'm sorry if my cell phone, let me stop it. Uh, but anyhow, like I was saying, you get, I'll show you how to get other graphic artists who will gladly take the same thing that this, that, that somebody else will charge you three to $500 for. They'll craft this thing for you for 50 to 75 to a hundred dollars for each of your designs. And, um, and you get what you want. But anyhow, what happens, a graphic artist will draw this up. This, say, for instance, if I thought of this idea, then a graphic artist will put this together for me. They'll send me the proof in some type of format, like in Photoshop or PSD or, or, or the different transfer printing companies will tell you what format to send the artwork in. But the graphic artist will draw my ID, 